In 2013, astronomers studying gamma ray bursts in outer space came across one huge thing. Looks like 10 billion light years away from Earth, a colossal gleaming wall stands in space. Can it be true? People used to believe in a solid vault of heaven with stars hammered into it. Behind this wall, there allegedly lived divine beings. But no matter how silly this idea seems now, walls in the sky really exist, and they're even more fascinating than that. In this video, you'll travel from the nearest boundaries where Earth ends and space begins to the walls that stand on the other side of the universe. What are they made of? Could they be a portal to another universe? What kind of walls did space build in front of us, and what are they hiding? Let's start with Earth. The first cosmic wall is just one short trip away. This is an imaginary boundary between the atmosphere and space called the von Karman line. It's located 100 kilometers away from our planet's surface. By the beginning of 2022, only 600 people have managed to get beyond it, and many of them claim that this changed their lives forever. That's because a human who sees Earth from orbit for the first time experiences the overview effect. Astronomers describe it as an all-consuming feeling of how fragile Earth seems surrounded by the black depths of space. This is the only way to feel really attached to our home planet. The following walls that rise on our way are lethally dangerous. These are the Van Allen radiation belts. The first of them lies at an altitude of 4,000 kilometers, and the second one is 17,000 kilometers away from the Earth. As a matter of fact, these are thick walls composed of charged particles held in place by our planet's magnetic field. To avoid a fatal dose of radiation and save all the electronics from burning, we need to pass through the Van Allen belts as quickly as possible. Even the fastest of rockets will need more than a year to reach the next boundary of our solar system. An asteroid belt situated 180 million kilometers away from Earth is a cosmic wall separating terrestrial planets from the gas giants. And although you're unlikely to come across some of the scarce asteroids, one change definitely won't stay unnoticed. It'll become much colder on the outside, since the rocket will completely leave the sun's habitable zone, where Earth-like life can theoretically exist. In another 10 years, you'll enter the orbit of Neptune, the last planet. But you won't even get close to the cosmic wall of our solar system. So, where are its boundaries? Even when you pass the Kuiper Belt, another rocky cosmic wall where Pluto belongs, there will still be the solar wind at your back. And it will disappear only when there are 18 billion kilometers between you and Earth. This is the heliopause, a cosmic wall that can be found where an interstellar particle beam neutralizes the solar wind. Our rocket, just like the Voyagers, will need more than 40 years to cross this line. And before long, we'll hear this kind of sound. Those are the vibrations produced by interstellar plasma, and they prove that space beyond our solar system teems with all kinds of activity. But the heliopause is an internal castle wall within the territory of the Sun. As for the outer wall, it's located 7.5 quadrillion kilometers away from Earth. That is the Oort cloud, consisting of billions of comets. This gigantic two light-year thick sphere is the final point where the gravitational influence of the sun still works. In this place, we can detect dangerous comets hundreds of years before they approach Earth. Unfortunately, however, all contacts with both voyagers will be long lost before they can enter the Oort cloud. So, it looks like humanity isn't ready to really cross the final frontiers of our solar system yet. But that's not going to stop us. 
All we need to do is get into a starship of the future whose warp drive will quickly take us to new cosmic walls. What galactic boundaries are waiting for us outside our solar system? We know for sure where the center of the Milky Way lies, 26,000 light years away from us. But we can't be sure about how long a flight to the outer edge of the galactic disk will take. It's between 1 and 200,000 light years in diameter. But don't get frustrated, I have an idea. What if we look at this disk as if it's a wall? After all, that's what we constantly see in the night sky. This means that the closest boundary of our Milky Way lies just some 500 light years away. If we go some several thousand light years farther up, we'll realize one long cherished dream of all astronomers. Our ship's windows will become a screen that will broadcast one of the most mysterious objects in the universe. The Great Attractor, a gravitational anomaly that lies at a distance of 250 million light years from Earth. Currently, the disk of the Milky Way completely blocks it from us like a blind wall. The Great Attractor weighs millions of times more than our galaxy, and we're flying towards it at an enormous speed, together with all the galaxies of the Laniakea supercluster. Most likely, it's a thick galaxy filament. But who knows, maybe there is a fundamentally new astronomical object hidden in that place. But even the Great Attractor would pale in comparison with that glowing wall standing across the universe. The Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall is a superstructure composed of distant galaxy clusters measuring 10 billion light years in length. This is approximately one tenth of all the observable universe. If we take the scale of the Earth and draw an analogy, we'll see a wall that covers half of the territory of the United States. A bit of heaven for certain politicians. But the mere fact that a wall like this exists up in space goes against everything we know about the formation of our universe. However, perhaps if we get there to have a better look, we'll find scattered groups of galaxies that only seem to be one object. Some astronomers believe that's the most probable answer. So, does it mean that our understanding of the universe is still valid. Not so fast. What cosmic walls of epic proportions can challenge science? Astronomers have called this line on the map of the cosmic background radiation the axis of evil. It marks the boundary between a bit colder and a bit warmer regions of the early universe. What's so evil about it? Nothing, except that this wall ruthlessly wrecks our theories about the chaotic and asymmetrical universe. If only we could travel through time and space back to the moment when the axis of evil emerged shortly after the Big Bang. What if behind this wall, our ship could find a veritable center of the universe where the history of our world began? What undoubtedly exists behind the axis of evil right now is another abnormal region of the universe. The Eridanus Supervoid is a wall composed of practically empty space up to 2 billion light years thick. There are thousands of times more galaxies around this giant cold bubble than inside it. Flying through it would feel incredibly lonely. But this is necessary if we want to reach the final wall, the physical boundary of the observable universe. And what will we see if we fly past it? Will there be a new region full of galaxy superclusters, great walls, and supervoids that are entangled in a web? Or another universe bubble where everything works very differently? That's not pure fiction. Some scientists think that the mentioned Eridanus supervoid, for example, is a trace that appeared after our universe had collided with some other. If you could pass through the wall between them, what parallel world would you like to get to? Comment your wishes below and make sure your imagination knows no boundaries.